So, the oxygen machine is almost ready. We uh, used it last week in production already. And uh, because we made some changes on it and uh, it's Sunday today, uh, we need to make it ready for tomorrow's morning because ladies will need it for their work. So I have to fix some small mechanical issues and uh, make it ready for, for work tomorrow. There are some leaks in the system and uh, if there is time I want to also try new molecular sieves because we already got the barrel with molecular sieves so I want to try if they will work better than the old ones that we have. So the leaks are fixed and now I want to test the new sieve. So I will pick this pair of cylinders because uh, this one delivers only 60% of oxygen at 5 liters per, second, per minute. So you can see here we have lumps of the zeolites here and this probably indicates that we had too high humidity in the system so it was condensing and uh, forming these, these lumps so this might be the problem why we had so low oxygen concentration on these cylinders. So 25 kilograms of fresh zeolite they are actually quite expensive. This barrel, 25 kilograms, cost $550. And uh, the shipping, because of the COVID, the shipping rates are higher. It went from China and the shipment was another 400. So quite, quite expensive. This was almost 1000 US dollars. So what is interesting, they were under vacuum. They are now warm as they suck the air in. So they got not warm, but a little bit higher temperature than the room temperature. This is interesting. Okay, really well packaging. I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, the old ones are a little bit darker and the grayish. These are nice yellow pink. So let's put it back to see the concentration of the new fresh molecular sieves.
So let's turn it on. I'm pretty much anxious how this will work because this is first time I am trying a new fresh molecular sieve. So let's hope for 110%. Right, so it goes up pretty fast. This looks promising. 52. I set five liters per minute, which is the highest flow rate that we can have from the machine. So if it gets over 70%, then it's, it's okay. 80%. 80% at five liters per minute. Wow, that's, that's so, so good. We are over 90% already and one thing that I realized, both cylinders work the same way. So you don't see the oxygen concentration going up and down. Uh, this is usually a sign of one of the cylinders working better and the other ones working worse. Like uh, one is able to deliver high concentration than the other one. I exchanged four cylinders, like these and these, and uh, we're now running four pairs, and we are at 90% of concentration, and these two runs, these two are running at five liters per minute, and these two at three liters per minute, these are with the old sieve. So altogether, we have 16 liters per minute at 90% concentration. This is great, this is more than we need right now and it's close to what we will need for the H tube. We still have two pairs not used so we have a reserve and I believe that we will get to the values that we need for the H tube. So I can take it to the production and ladies will work on it tomorrow.